What is up guys? Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to add gravity and physics to an object. Uh, one of my buddies mentioned that I totally forgot to go back over this and I talked about it I think in one of my previous tutorials. I'm going to be showing you guys the simple way to do this. We're not going to be going into blueprints and nodes and all that stuff. Today we're just be showing you guys the simple way to add gravity and physics to an object. Okay, so we're just going to test out two different shapes here. And I want you to go up to this tab here and go to shapes. And we will just add a cube. And once you have your cube, let's just go ahead and put it pretty close to the ground. Make sure you're doing this in your third person template because we want to see if the character can actually move the object. So if we click play, I'm just going to show you guys what it does if we don't do anything to the cube. So if we run up to it, you'll see that it already has collision enabled. So some shapes will have collision. If you don't know how to add collision to an object, if it doesn't have collision, then go check out my previous tutorial on asset collision. I'll leave a link to that on the top right hand corner. Okay, so you see we can jump on top of the box, run into the box, and the box is not moving whatsoever. It's pretty much stuck. It's really heavy, obviously, and we can't do anything about it. So let's go ahead and back out and let's go to our details of this cube. Let's go to our search bar and type in physics. And you'll see a tab that says simulate physics. And you'll just check this box. Once we check this box, let's see what it does. So now you see I can move my object around. It's sort of sliding as I run into it. So you can actually adjust the weight of this box by clicking this mass and just setting it to whatever you want. So if I set it to something like 1 and press play, then you'll see it's very light and I can kick it all the way across the map pretty easily. Let's make it 400. And as you can see, it is getting a lot heavier, harder to push. What if we wanted this box to float in the air? Let's click on the box. And we're going to go to enable gravity and deselect it. Let's pull the box a little bit in the air. So now you see when I hit it, it will float in the air. If you keep the weight down, it will stay pretty much in the same area. So the weight physics still apply to the box even though it doesn't have gravity. It's floating away. So if I click enable gravity again, press play, you'll see that the box has gravity and it will float down to the ground. Now I'm going to show you that this actually works with all shapes. So if we go to shape and we add a sphere, let's make it a little bigger. And let's try to make a ball that just kind of rolls around. So if we press play and we run into the ball, you'll see that we're stuck on this ball. You can't move it, it's too heavy. So let's back out. Just go to the same settings, simulate physics, Click it and press play. So the ball might be too heavy to move. So if it's not moving, go to mass and set it to something like 100 and press play. Now you'll see you'll be able to roll this ball. And again, we're going to go ahead and disable the gravity and try this again. Put it a little bit in the air so we can kick it into the air. Now as you can see the ball is floating away because it doesn't have any gravity.
And there you go, guys. That's how you add physics to an object. I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial. I had a little bit of issues doing the advanced modeling tutorial. So that will probably come next week. I'm sorry, guys. But that's just how it is. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these tutorials. Let me know what you need help with in Unreal Engine. I'll do my best to make a tutorial on it. I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Land Vision Studios, out.